The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin. Welcome, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 10. Get the Nasdaq up 1. S&Ps are down 3. Gold contracts up uh, a buck 40 at 12.31 an ounce. You have silver down two cents, seventeen dollars thirty-nine cents an ounce. Platinum's up a buck and a half at nine sixty-six an ounce. Light sweet crude down sixty-six cents, forty-eight dollars ten cent. You have the uh, notes up three ticks. Bonds are up seven ticks, and good old King Dollar just still can't handle higher price down fifty-five ticks at one hundred point zero six zero. And folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, great time to do it. Come over to our website at TFNN. You'll see the banner on the top of the side. You can hit that banner, bring up the platform, and you can walk along with us as we def uh, trade these defined option contracts. Um, Monday. Monday. Good hey, morning. Happy birthday. Thanks, man. It's a beautiful thing, man. I appreciate it. March 20th. That's right. Watch out. Man. That's right. Watch out. Hey, uh, great workshop on Saturday, man. I know we had a lot of people come out. It was fantastic. I, I want to thank all the tigers and tigresses for coming out there. We had, uh, it was great workshop. Amazing venue, too. Amazing venue, and it's always awesome because, you know, you did a great job, but really, the attendees, it's so awesome because they provide such an awesome energy. They really do, you they know, do. in terms of just everyone's hanging out, and you can just feel it. They're all traders, and right. just uh, good energy, man, it you was. know, totally. Great Everybody time. pumped up. It was a great day. Let's go to one of these uh, great tiger trainers right now. Let's go to Jim and Olsma. Hey, Jim, what's going on? Hey, how are you guys this morning? Morning, morning Jim. Good, man. Good. How you, how you been? I'm great. I, I just wanted to call. I don't have a question per se. I just wanted to call and thank you all for that uh, wonderful workshop uh, yesterday. It was wonderful, uh, or Saturday, and uh, it was uh, just such a privilege to get to meet you and Tommy, and happy birthday, Tommy, by the way. Thank you. Perfect. And, uh, and thank you for coming out. Yeah, man. we appreciate Seriously. you coming out, man. No doubt. And, and uh, Jim's one of the guys I was thinking about. You know, you get to meet all these great tigers. He was psyched. Everyone's psyched. It was really an awesome day. It was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and that, uh, I'd like to thank that Mr. Dan Cook, too, of Nadex. He was uh, very, uh, very good. I talked to him quite a while there. And I, I want to thank you for the free book. That was awesome. And uh, it was just tremendous for... A lot of us little guys that uh, I'm still just learning this, and uh, it was a great benefit being out of it. Just to let you know, I really, really appreciated uh, the event, and that's all I had to say. <laughs> no, well, listen, we, we appreciate all your tigers and tigresses out there, and, you know, we hadn't done one in a long time, and so... Um, it, it was it was cool, man. I mean, you know, it was. so check this out, Jim. This is wicked. The uh, So St. Patrick's Day is Friday, right? And, of course, that's always a big day for the O'Briens, right? <laughs> and I, I had to be, like, so straight because between writing the workshop and then just being you a good boy. You had a boy, big day Saturday. We weren't joking. You know what exactly. I mean? you, and um, you were good, man. Yeah, but then you should have seen me Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> the stress was unloaded. I had a few, I had a few beers. And it, was, it was great, it was though. It was time I, to relax, it for was, sure. It and was, everybody, was, too. Was, you know, that yeah. rooftop deal is fantastic. Yeah, and, Jim, yeah. seriously, thanks for coming out. And thanks for us, you know, calling the show. Yeah. And, and that makes it, man. You know, if, if, if nobody shows up and no one's calling to the show, yeah. and, and, and we that's have part of it. Exactly. Right. It's a big totally. part of it. Totally. Well, I just wanted to let you know I really appreciated it. And uh, it's fantastic, and uh, I'll let you guys go and get back to business. Now, hey, isn't it great meeting all the other tigers and tigresses, too? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I actually made a, a new friend or two there, I think, and good. that's really good. Good. That's awesome. Awesome, man. man. Okay, you have a great one to say for, man. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. It's great. Getting to meet the faces to the it names does. and and, it does. and and really you know where just the check in was a continental breakfast everyone's just hanging out chit chatting you right. know right. talking about trading of course right totally so out here today um, you know we got a flat market starting out the week 
And you said, what do we have going on right now, though? Yeah, there could be a little fire. Who knows? Nothing seems to affect the market. Nothing so seems we'll to affect see. the market. We'll but see we'll if see. news but could. Yeah. But You got uh, Comey up, I believe. We, we, you be, said maybe 10 o'clock he might be starting. Start and, and, and who knows? There could be statements, maybe the questions. I'm not yeah. sure. But, yeah, it's today. Um, and, you know, it's interesting to see what he can talk about in open versus right. closed door, too. Right. So, like, don't expect any real bombshells. Because if he even wanted to say anything that was that dramatic, I think it would be behind in a... In a Whatever the you know, oh, top he, secret um, meeting with right. the, just the, right. but but you never but, know these days. Well, we, we don't know until we know. <laughs> That's and, right, and, man. And watching you, watching the market, you, you know, it's yeah. I, so folks, when um, when I was doing this workshop, the when I was getting ready for it, um, what ended up happening? So I got to show you this because this is pretty intense, actually. Um, the Goldman Sachs, right? So what happens when I do a workshop? You go through hundreds of stocks before I get to where I'm going. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Just I'm, so you know, you were here till like 10 o'clock at yeah. night this week, you yeah. know, after the show, cranking right. out charts every single night. It's pretty cool. And so what, hap what happened in between this, right, is that, you know, I'm, I was doing daily, weeklies, monthlies, and look on a longer term basis. And what ended up happening is that all of a sudden, you know, Goldman got up my radar. Okay. Now check this out, folks. This is, this is going to be an indication. Well, well, we'll find out whether it's an indication. Goldman... If Goldman closes under $250.70 this month, um, you get a huge failure on price and volume. And that's pretty intense for two different reasons. We're going into $227 million on the monthly. When I uh, did the uh, volume, you know, basically pushed out, projected, it was like $75 million. Yeah, it's like nothing. I mean, we're, we're two-thirds yeah. of the way through the month, and we're right. at $42 million, so you know, that's... You stay right there. Tommy and I are going to be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now trading up 18. NASDAQ is up 4. S&Ps are down 2. We're going to bring it back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the uh, Dow up by uh, 22, NASDAQ is up 7, S&Ps are up a buck and a half. And if we go over to the Nadex platform, let's go take a look at this out here this morning and see what we have. <laughs> what what have. do we have? What do we have? Uh, so many possibilities. So many possibilities. So, <laughs> so picture out here this morning, folks, okay? So if you haven't test drove this platform, great time to do it. Just come over to our website, hit the banner. Uh, if we look at these, uh, the NDX 100, the um, the dailies, you know, you have, you have the 40 point spreads, you get the master spread, which is the 80. So when I was out here this morning looking at the 80, it was kind of right in the middle. Okay. And right around 5,400. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what would happen there is that, you know, if I, I wanted to sell the NDX. Sure. Okay. So if I, if I sold the NDX, um, well, this is when it was a little bit lower. I was, yeah, one minute to put, right. You can just change the price here to theoretically yeah. see where you would have been. Maybe you were at 5,400. Is that what you're risking even? Or were you uh, it was just, it was, it was 5,407, I think. Okay, right yeah, around so. There. But it was, yeah, it was like 3.30 yeah. three, on one contract sure. to go for 4.70. I said, sure. you know what? Because you're dealing with $800 in the entire spread, which is the 80 right. points in the NASDAQ. Right. right. So when that ha not all the time when that happens, but I'm looking for, uh, here now, I'll, br I'll bring up the NDX for a second for you. Okay, so NQM7. Oh, one sec, hold on. Not sure what that was. Go for it now. NQM7. So when you bring up the NDX100, um, right now I'm, I'm history. That's <laughs> it's up 17. Quite a, quite a jump. It's up 17 now. points, yeah. okay? So uh, when I bring it up, however, I'll show you what I was doing sure. here, okay? Um, now this gets, oh, this gets, you know what, why this gets. And there's so, your 5407. Go ahead, I yeah. got it. Yeah, go Where ahead. This gets interesting. Okay, so I'm I'm looking for it to go down into the 5394, which, okay. which is the beginning of this, because that's we start moving down. Yeah. All the very bottom. Sure. So when I was looking at it, I says, okay, if it's going to go higher, I don't want to lose that kind of money. Sure. It, it, for one contract, right? Sure. It was because that was 325. Say that again for me. It was three hundred twenty-five dollars when we wrapped the master yes. shed for yes. one. Yes. Yes. So what I did is that I went into. Oh, okay. That's what I was trying to understand. Yeah, that's. I thought, the, I thought we were given the indication you did the eighty-point spread. No. no. Oh, and okay. so what I did <laughs> is that I went into the forty-point okay. spread. Okay. And when I did the forty-point spread, you could get it for eighty dollars now, but it cost me three hundred for ten contracts. It's thirty dollars a contract. Sure, right? I can see fifty-three ninety-seven right. was where you were getting in. So that's right. only three points below fifty-four hundred. So you're yep. paying thirty dollars per contract. Exactly. To put things in fifty-three ninety-seven, and back it down to per single contract. So you're risking thirty to make three seventy down right. there. Yeah. Now what's happening though there, right? Is that you're getting in at fifty three ninety seven, but the market's at fifty four oh seven. That's right? correct. That's it. Yeah. That's just correct. To put things. Sure. Correct. Sure. So so now watch this. Though. This is what's interesting about this one. Even though this train is not working out for me right sure. now, I actually thought that I could get the full amount out of this one. Yeah, no, 5360. I mean, yeah, that's you're only not, talking about 47 points from where the market is. That's less it, than a 1% move, right. to put things in perspective. For, and yeah. for the NDX 100, that's not a bad deal. Inside the context also, that you have hearings out there. Yes, <laughs> right. You know, yes. so it, it, it's pretty cool, you know, all around in the context of, you know, where we are. And, yeah. and of course, what ends up happening with these contracts, folks, is that I have to quarter past four this afternoon. Sure. Yeah. So there's some potential there. Oh, there's potential. Let's go to Marion in Houston, Texas. Hey, Marion, what's going on? Good morning, everybody. Hey. Good, good, good I morning. I wanted to say good, a happy birthday, Tommy. Oh, because thank you. you. Complained that I never caught in yet, so. Perfect. I'm glad to hear. I know we we <laughs> met on Saturday again, of course. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And um, thank you so much for this great, excellent workshop. Um, I think it was a lot about confidence and um, having faith in yourself, I mean, at least for me. Even though I came all the way from Houston, 
I mean, it was so worth it. Well, well we appreciate yeah. you coming all the way, too. That is awesome. Definitely. Wow. Definitely. Yeah. That is so cool. Spending a few extra days in Florida is also nice. Right? Yeah, Enjoy some right. Uh, March sunshine uh, for this, sure. This, there's, there's no <laughs> doubt we uh, scored in, uh, with the weather in a huge yeah, and it was actually, amazing. Actually, in the rooftop, it got a little hot. It, it, it a little hot, yeah, man. Yeah, dude. I got a tan. Yes, for sure. <laughs> we got yeah, some sun. I say a little sunburn. Exactly. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I as well. <laughs> well, thank I you so much Orlando, for coming please. out and calling the show. And, uh, and now you've called the program. You've said hello so you can be a regular caller, just like our man Jim from Oldsmar. I promise, and that's what I did. Okay. All All right. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Marion. Okay. okay. Take care. Have a great one. Bye -bye. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I know, right? Yeah. Definitely. And you know what, ha what does happen in, right here in Tampa, folks? Our airport is phenomenal anyway, which, yeah. is, which is really we're great. We're right next people, to the airport, which is kind of nice. Yeah, people yeah. get in and out very quickly. Yes. Um, you know, market-wise out here, let's go take a look at the uh, inside the Dow uh, and the NDX 100 and see what's moving it. So inside the Dow... You have Disney. That's going to be uh, that's the new movie out. It's a remake a million times, but they sold a lot of it. Okay. Beauty and the Beauty Beast. Beauty and the I Beast. Think, yeah. It's called something it's cost, slightly different, yeah, but it is. It is yeah. yeah. Let me see. Let's the see. Amazing. Or no. Beauty yeah, and the I Beast. I guess so. Yeah. Beauty yeah, and the Beast. It sets Mach so. record at the box office. What a trip, right? Yeah. Imagine how many times you can sell it. <laughs> right. 170 million in sales. Wow. Okay, so let's take a look. So uh, that's the leader. Actually, let's do it this way. Sure. So, uh, Disney's putting nine points in. Apple's putting eight. Caterpillar's putting seven and a half. 3M's putting five and a half. Uh, taken away from it is uh, Travelers is taking a seven away. Home Depot, six. United Health, uh, five. Exxon Mobil, three. Chevron right under there. Yeah. But, yeah. That's going to be, uh, yeah, let's go right over to the oil market. Because this oil market uh, continues to get hit. CL, let's see what we're in. CLJ. CLJ, seven. Okay, so, yeah, it's going after the low from last week. We'll see whether it's yeah. 44,000 contracts, which is not that many, really. But maybe I better check this contract it's, on. Yeah. Because what happens with oil, it's folks, dropping down there. is that oil uh, trades. Yeah. Nope. See, that's the well, wrong contract. Well, pull up the, just make sure the volume, too, because remember we saw last time yeah. sometimes. This, this, this is, is two, uh, 234,000. Okay. So, yeah. was, yeah. so what happens, oil trades it every month, folks. Um so that's that's down with some volume. That's yep. good. It's, it's going after these lows. It's going after these lows. Uh, inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness. Uh, strength is Micron. That's up 2.7 percent. Nvidia is up 2 percent. Illumina is up 2 percent. Clack uh, KLA 10 core is up uh, 1.2. Taken away from it is QVC down 1.5. Dish one, and Viacom one. That's nothing, man. <laughs> that's like, right? Mm. Nothing. Right. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That is pretty wild, man. Uh, we go take a look at the uh, gold contract. Let's, let's look at the, actually, the GLD. So sure. the, the GLD out here, it's hanging up at that 117. It's pretty good. You know, we'll see whether we can get some juice inside this thing. You know, on the, would you have, uh, you know, last week we had the rejection on light of volume coming into the, uh, in this case, it would have been the February swing low. Pretty dramatic light of volume, too. Now what you're looking for is another surge. We're looking for the strength, baby. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow right now is up 30, Nasdaq's up 14, S&P's are flat, and the melt up is on. <laughs> right. <laughs> If you're looking to unearth a new financial resource and diversify your financial portfolio, consider the new market-safe core commodity CD from EverBank. This five-year U.S. dollar-denominated CD gives you exposure to four equally weighted commodities, gold, copper, WTI oil, and sugar, in one powerful CD. With no pricing caps, you can potentially earn an unlimited upside payment at maturity if the commodities increase in value across semi-annual pricing dates. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There's no annual percent 
percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. With certain commodities on the rebound, now is the time to take advantage. The March 23rd funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once more, that's 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up uh, 30. You get the NASDAQ uh, up 12. S&P is a flat. And if you haven't uh, test drove that Nadex platform, great time to do it. And if we come over to this platform right now, you know, I had done uh, the, the contracts uh, this morning that are they're totally out of the money right now. I know. I look down to check email on my phone. I look back up, and you're trading live during the commercial. Right. There we exactly. go. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So let me show you what, what I'm doing here, folks. So uh, the bottom line. You just minimize that. Go ahead. Yeah. Let's uh, So... NQ, NQ, let's see. When I was, when we were first explained in this trade, I didn't want to trade the 80.1 because I felt the... It's uh, a lot of risk. The, 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 exactly. Per contract, per you're contract. risking almost $400, right. 330 whatever it was. Um, so what do we have right here? So you, you got a nice bounce this morning. You're coming right into the downdraft that was out there at 9.30 in the morning on Thursday. on Thursday. Now, the top of that downdraft is 54.28. Okay. 75. Sure, that's the 9.30 bar. Right. Now, we just hit 54.28. So, inside the platform, I went over and sold a couple contracts of the 80 points. Now you did, yeah, because it's a completely different risk-reward. It's totally different risk. Yeah. And this is why you want to basically do the demo so yeah. you can start understanding how this works you know yeah so you know here's the yeah and this is it so this is the 80.1 that you're in so now instead of 5400 being the ceiling 5440 that's is the ceiling yeah and then it looks like so you have two contracts but let's see your average price 5429.9 about, about 150 bucks I think I was risking sure Did this already come down from where it was? I, am I looking at the right? Uh, one second, 50. 
You got yeah, it at 54. I'm sorry, 24.9. I was saying, okay, yeah. There we go. And you were selling them. So there you go. Yeah. yeah. So 150 to 650. Right. Okay. Nice. Which, which is yeah. great. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I like that. I could say in two different things. Now, I mean, see, it's already $50 of profit, really, and you're risking. You had 300 you would put up because two right. contracts. And right. So, you know, slight turnaround, but go ahead. So, yeah. so what happens there, too, folks, is that, you know, when you do something like that, the, the, the correlation is that, you know, now I'm in the money. I'm trading something in the money versus out of the money. Yes. And, you know, we'll see. Uh, this one here, I'm, I'm, I'm suspecting that maybe I'll make enough to break even on the other one. I don't expect at this particular point that we're going to go back to 53.60. <laughs> sure, that okay. would be a dramatic move. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. But, but I, what I do expect, as I said, uh, when you were looking at right where we were, yeah. you know, that's what we're going into. Plus those so, peaks from Friday as well, somewhat. You know, that's right, and that's a, that's a failure there yeah. right now. Yeah. You know, so um, if we get just a slight amount of volume coming off that level, then I got some action. Sure. Okay, because because that would be like uh, the, the brush up to it, and then that's all she wrote. Hey, it's barely an hour into the day, right? Oh, yeah. A lot no, could no. happen. That, yeah, there's no doubt. Yeah. Um, if we go over to the uh, the dollar index, what's going to be intriguing here is that, you know, the, the dollar hasn't had much movement out here this morning. And, you know, that's because it got killed so much last week, but that yeah. doesn't mean it won't uh, as we start moving through the trading day. Um, we had a request to take a look at the GDX, uh, the GDX out here, trading flat, you know. But my my take on the uh, the golds, the GDX, uh, all of the above, that we got to build some cars here, you know. The expansion, you know, last week was big. I suspect we got to build some cars in order to get up to to higher price. Now that being said, I expect that we're going to see higher prices this week. Okay. You know, it's one of these deals that. The amount of energy that it, that it took to go up Wednesday is pretty incredible. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what you also did is that you had rejected lower price last week on the daily, on the weekly. Then you took off. So it's like, okay. Okay. Um, we're, we're in the right time spot for that. What I mean by it is this. Is that, and, and I think the, the market right now is in the right time spot to get at least a slight pullback. Because... We're, it's only March 20th. Window dressing doesn't start from us another week and a half. Sure. That's a big deal. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And there's very few times that you have a chance to basically let the market breathe. And, yeah. Well, yeah. And recently, of course, the market uh, is breathing, but it, it doesn't exhale at it's all. It's fire breath straight Yeah, out. it's fire. It's one way. It doesn't inhale, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Let's take a look at some of the higher volume stocks out here. Uh, you have Bank of America down 17 cents. Uh, whatever that is, up 12. We'll find out what that is. That must be a biotech. Sperion Therapeutics. Look at this. Up 12 and a half. It's going to be 50%, basically. It's up. Oh, my God. This Ooh. gets even sicker. So check this oh, out, folks. To the poor people that sold on Friday. Yeah, so. Whatever's going on, on in that company. On, on Thursday, <clears throat> the stock was closed at $29. On Friday, it closed at 23 And it opened today at 32, and it's at 36. Can you pull up the news? Yes. Yeah. It's hard to... There's some regulatory... Okay, so they're on track for a NDA for approval of an experimental cholesterol-lowering therapy. These, these biotech companies, right? That's, inte that's intense. It is. Right. No doubt about it. Let's go back. Let me see what... Oops. Yeah, it's all about the regulations. Yeah. Either it, well, way. It's all, yeah, it's all about... Yeah, it's about yeah the, the, regulating their drugs. Yeah. You know, in terms of the FDA. Yeah, go to the right, FDA, right. you know, do the deal. Yeah. Um, you know. However those trials are going, what they right. have to... You right. know, what kind of leeway they're going to be given for further trials, et cetera. Yeah. You get uh, NVIDIA up $2.30. Uh, Twitter's down 13 You got, uh, well, let's go see SN what good old Snap is doing. Snapchat. <laughs> Snapchat. Snapchat's uh, trading up $0.63, cents, $20.17. It's a lot of people in that stock a lot higher than that. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. Yeah. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Uh, let's go take a look at Goldman, see what Goldman's doing out here. So Goldman rejected lower price out here. We'll see whether it gets, it gets a bounce. 
Because the, the shot on Goldman would be like 251. That's the low of how it gapped up on March 1st, if okay. it could get up there. And then, of course, what you'd want to see, folks, is that you'd want to see <coughs> that close under, I think it's the 250 level, right? Um, we'll get the exact number for you. Okay. On the monthly. Okay. Uh, pull this back. Oh, the one you were talking about at the beginning of the show. Yeah, 25070. Yeah. Yes. Isn't it amazing? That was that's seven that's ten years ago. It's, there's quite a slide from from the heroic days of, you know. It is. <laughs> and see the thing about Goldman is that if in fact it's gonna be a failure, your first level down is like one eighty six. I'd I'd be bringing it to the high sure. of April of twenty ten. Yeah, yeah. It's not a bad trade. No. Two fifty to one eighty six. Yeah, that one sixty five. Yeah. 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 Seriously. Uh, and the key there, I think the key with Goldman, which when I, when I looked at, the other banks are not set up like that. So it's like, okay, uh, if, you know, Goldman's going to go down like that, what's going on inside the banks? You, know? you stay right there. Excuse me, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Dow Industrials right now up 25. Nasdaq's up 9. S&P's down a buck and a half. We'll be right back. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 28. NASDAQ is up 10. S&P is down 1. Let's go to Mike in Denver, Colorado. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, doing great. Enjoying the nice weather out here. That's a beautiful awesome, thing. Man. Totally, man. Yeah, all the snow's melting away now, unfortunately. Okay. 80 degrees. <laughs> and that's got to, uh, 80 degrees, that's wow. wow. And, yeah. and so, um, I understand that you, you guys got a lot of snow, so that's going to give you a lot of water, too, right? Yeah, it pretty much stayed all up in the mountains, though. Okay. We're pretty much in a drought, Denver, and anything east. Wow, okay, okay. But, so what are we going to look at today? Well, I was looking at uh, gold fields, GFI. Okay. And I was thinking it might try to pull back a little bit. I was looking back to maybe the uh, December 15th, where I had uh, tested it, you know, it had its low of 260. But it seems to be going... Uh, kind of doji sideways the last few days and today so let's take a look at it you got uh gold fields folks okay the low for the year is 260 the high is 660 uh we put this on a weekly for a second and you know what, what you're going to see when you get it on the weekly here is that that whole december area um so the high of that area is 310 the low is 260 that was you know coming into 53 million, you did 47, we came down and rejected with 41, and then took off. You know, th this this looks to me like it's going to go after the 374, and if it has strength, um, you know, it can get the 447. Now, I didn't buy this this morning in the gold report, but I was looking at it. Uh, now, the reason I didn't buy it is if you go over to the RAND, watch this. If you go to the RAND, the RAND's getting stronger. Mm -hmm. So now we're 1268. The rand has just gone from, you know, 1460 to 1268. So what happens is that uh, GFI and Harmony, you know, their expenses are in rand dollars and they get paid in U.S. dollars. So that the stronger that the rand gets, the less that they can bring to the bottom line. But GFI is a nice setup. I mean, I, I, I do like the setup, you know, if you... Okay, you know. sounds good. The other one I was looking at is... Um Great Panther. Yeah. So it's pulled back a little bit. And... I own Great Panther. I like Great Panther. Uh, and what happened with Great Panther, and this is what you have to watch out for, folks, is how we came down on Friday. So they had all the indices in the NYSE got rebalanced. And so what, that, what happens there is that if you pull up, the uh, just pull up rebalancing um, Friday, and you're going to when you see the amount of indices that get rebalanced, oh my okay. God, there is, there's indices for everything, like all the mutual funds. So they all rebalance. Now, what happens in a rebalance is this, is that when you go quarter by quarter, you're going to see some of these got hit, Great Panther being one of them, because inside those funds, they had too much Great Panther in correlation of last quarter okay. because it's gone up so dramatically. Okay. Okay, so they're trying to always mimic something. Um, so this low here, I'd like to see that low tested of 166. I don't like that when that happens. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, you know, I'd, I'd wait for it to get tested, really. You know, because I wait to get dried around 160 again. Yeah, 166. And it's, okay. You know, um, and a lot of them did that. You know, and that was one of the main reasons, even in the correlation of, you know, if you, at the beginning of the show, I was saying, well, this NDX 100. We had the expansion. What I've found is this: is that when you have those rebalances. If everything's going up, it wants to keep going up. Uh, but guess what? It's subtle, but you go down on a rebalance, even if it's a little, it's like, okay, sure. your, your probability is pretty good that that's where it wants to go. So, so testing the 166, we should uh, should be doing it on light volume, right? Yeah, lighter than that, yes. That's all you want. You want you want it to come down, hit it, reject it, and then, you, then, then it did to me what it should be doing. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Cool. I appreciate your info. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. You too. Thank you. 80 degrees in Denver. Not bad. It's not 80 degrees here right now. No. 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 We've had some good weather. I we like the cool, yeah. of course. We, we, we're, we're happy with it. There's going to be plenty It'll of weather. It'll be 80 here very shortly, oh, if not tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> it, can get, it can come in very quickly. Let's go take a look at the uh, E-minis. So if we take a look at that's where we are in the E-minis right now. Oh, this is pretty good. I like this. Okay, so... We're at 23.74. Now, this hasn't got any juice. This is coming right into the downdraft on Friday. 40 past 3. 
It's 23.72 is the bottom of that bar. 23.77.50 is the top. We only made 23.75.75. It's going to be interesting here. Because that is showing some weakness. Uh, the small caps. They're hanging up there, man. <laughs> these, these small caps are deviant. So here, watch this. Now, th this is just the opposite. See that on Friday? The, the IWM, folks, 138.73, it pushed with volume up. So it's like, okay, that wants to go higher. Sure. Oh, excuse me, Bless folks. You. Thank you. So that's, th there's, there's divergence for sure. You know, the, the Qs did just the opposite. It's just slightly, but they did the opposite. They come down just slightly, but they had that expansion, 21 million. Day before we hit a high at 18 million. You're going into 22 million. It's so close, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's like, okay. <laughs> and then the diamonds. Yeah, and what, one of the tigers is saying that the small cap head fake is very common. That, that's a fact. What happens with the small caps is that the amount of uh, energy that goes in or out of the small caps on the close is extraordinary. Yeah. Um, the diamonds. No, they didn't do much. Yeah, you can make the case that the diamonds didn't come down in volume. So that brings you, brings me at least right back to the good old U.S. dollar, because the, the dollar here is going to be the, let's go on to the euro for a second. So the euro is laying here, so the euro is laying right under a swing point of 108. Uh, last three days it's hit, uh, Thursday it hit 107.70, Friday 107.82. And then today, 107.77. XLE oil, that continues to be weak. And that's the that's Exxon and Chevron. Yeah, $48 yeah. barrel oil has to be a little bit scary in terms of yep. under that $50 level. They're not at $60, that's for sure, anymore. No. And... Oh, look at this is big. Okay, so watch this, folks. Chevron, you know, they pushed with volume. Look at that volume there, 14.3 million. Yeah. You're going into the swing point, which is 107.12, and we hit 107.02 today. So if that can't even hold, one, it's, it's at 107.36 right now, but if that can't hold that level, Chevron's screaming at 105. You get 105 Chevron, that's going to put some real heat inside the NYSE. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, Google, we go over to Google, just take a look at Google. Google's rejecting lower price out here. They Google got a downgrade today. I'm not sure from who I saw it come across. And you know it's so funny, I don't even know who this firm is. Downgraded it to pivotal. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? I don't know. They couldn't downgrade it though. They well they could downgrade it, but they didn't get it going. Yeah, right. You stay right there. Tommy and I are coming right back, folks. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's up 38. Nasdaq's up 13. S&P's a flat. And we're back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Direction's daily CSI 300 China A-Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A-Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. 
Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour. Following the Tom O'Brien Show, Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with host Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now is up 33, Nasdaq's up 10, S&P's the flat. And, you know, for a flat market, I know uh, we were just looking up uh, the SKU. Sure, right? yeah. So it's the CBOE SKU index. And, um, you know, I don't understand the fundamentals of it completely, but what it does speak to is out of the money. Um, where am I going here? Um, yeah, you could just hit menu. Whoops. Oh, I think. Oh, boy. That's right. We'll yeah. get there. Let me yeah. see. Um, out of the money. Yes. How expensive puts it is. and calls. Right. And so it's going to be the tail edge of the risk. And so what it basically speaks to is that the cost of out of the money, you know, looking for large dramatic moves is has gone up dramatically. Record levels. Yeah. Right. Um, so you can see since September. So, you know, while the VIX is remaining relatively low. Right. That might not be true for people. You know, maybe if you're going to be charging. If you're going to be the one selling that insurance for an out-of-the-money put or call, maybe that's where smart traders are saying, no, that's going to be an expensive, so here we go. Yes, yeah, so it's a global strike independent measure of the slope of the implied volatility curve that increases as this curve tends to steepen. The index is calculated from the price of the portfolio out of the, this is, that's pretty intense. It, well, finish, finish, oh. finish, finish. Trade, no, okay, yeah, the tradable portfolio of out of the money, similar to the VIX, but the yes. out of the money S&P 500 options, which right. is just the key, and you can see the chart even going back. Um, it's we're, huge. We're at record levels, uh, which is remarkable if all you've been focusing on is the VIX, and you say, I can't believe there's no volatility priced into this market. It's like, well, when you start going really out of the money puts and calls, there is actually some volatility Huge. for those, right? I mean, right? the way it's looking there, I, yes. I, and I don't, you know, as you said, no, in, Dece you're right. in I mean, December, that, this is 121, right. and you're at 154. Yeah, and I know? mean, that's probably looking at, you know, in a realistic nature where we've went up 20, 25% in some indices. So, yeah. you know, when you're talking about deep out of the money or, or even just out of the money, Realistically, they're saying, man, just on a decent pullback, you could hit some of those achievable levels, I think. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And so, and this is where the option market, folks, uh, is absolutely amazing. They know everything, right? And, yeah, in the, in the context of, you know, how that works. Oh, let's go to our my man, Mike in Somerville. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, listen, I know it's the end of the show. I just got to say happy birthday to Tommy. Mike, thanks, That's man. That's a beautiful thing. Thanks for calling. I appreciate it. That's all I'm calling for, guys, because they let me. They snuck me in at the end of the show just to say happy, happy birthday. Uh, to hey, my did you make talking. it for your Irish food? When were you going? Was oh, that yeah. this weekend or tonight? <laughs> I did. It was awesome. I ended up with the tips that day. It was awesome. Good. Perfect. <laughs> Good. Uh, you, yeah, got, yeah. you got steak tips? Yeah, Tommy. I know. After all that food, that's what I went for. Is that crazy? No, that's it's not, not crazy. You man. know what's so crazy about it? So picture this. Oh, this is sick, folks. When I used to sell food in South Boston and in Boston, 
I used to make deals. I had two bars, and steak tips were huge, and that's what I used to sell. I used to do it at Aces in South Boston, and then I had another one up, up in Upper's Corner. That was a big deal, steak tips, man. Who doesn't love a good <laughs> steak tip, man? Tommy, totally. you know what I realized? I was with some people from California. We're, we're like the only people that have steak tips over here, right? Isn't that funny? You know, actually, since no, I got they got steak tips down here, too. I know they, they do. They do, but not yeah. like uh, every bar room they're, up there. They're big up there, for yeah, sure. They are. Yeah. They are. Yeah. They're big up there. Sirloin yeah. steak, man. Get them going. You got it. Good stuff. I'm starving I'm, I'm right learning, now. I'm learning, buddy. I'm learning. I'm 55. I'm still learning every day, bro. Every day I'm learning, buddy. You're a young, you're a young chicken, man. Fifty-five. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I'll let you guys go. I'll talk to you this Mike, week. Mike, thanks, man. Have a Take great care. one, man. Have a safe one. All right, bye. Yeah, steak tips. I, you know, I, I always forget about them. And then I, <laughs> when I think about how many I cooked, it's crazy. Yeah, they're good stuff. Oh, they are. Definitely. Definitely. They're great. Good bar food. Marinated, some good barbecue, whatever totally. you're doing. Right. Totally. Totally. Meat hounds, man. That's right, man. Watch out. So. You stay right there, folks. We have a lot of great programming coming up for you, of course. Um, then we're going uh, to go to Think of Swim headquarters. we get got uh, uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, myself. We'll be back. Happy birthday, pal. Thanks, man. Oh, go get him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.